Well, don't just stand there! There's still time to save my brother and Genoline by reversing the gun settings! Really? Oh, but there's no instructions. No problem! I'll just press a few buttons and see what happens. No! I... There! That should do it! You crazy feathered punk! Anything might happen! I wonder what will hit down there. Early in the game, Grunty said it to suck, but Kazooie said it to blow, so we're gonna shoot the life force down instead of taking it. Look! It's working! Ha! I believe you owe me an apology, dumb jars! Not a chance! Yay! Genoin's back! Thanks, guys! Life's not much fun as a zombie. Yay, he's back! Bottle's next then, Kazooie! He's been lifeless for quite a while, so I think you'd better turn it up to full power. Not until Soldier Boy apologizes. <laughs> Sorry, Kazooie. Thank you. You didn't think Bottles was gonna stay dead for the whole game, did you? Also, Grunty only sucked Genoline's life force back, but there was enough life force to give back to both him and Bottles, so apparently Genoline is only walking around with half his usual life force. Either that or they somehow stored up energies in another place. Yay, Bottles is back, but he's still burnt to a crisp. Oh no! Look at the time! I'm really late for dinner! Mrs. B will kill me! But you already got killed, so you've got nothing to fear, right? Oh, he cleaned himself up before dinner, though. I don't care how burnt it is, you're still eating it! It's the goldfish, no. It's not my fault! The witch killed me, and I've only just come back to life! Poor Royston. Yes, I'm sure you have, dear. <laughs> He's got visitors. Goodness, who might you two be? You don't know your king? Yo, I'm King Genoline, and this fine fellow is Klungo. Baron Bird freed Klungo from evil clutches of mistress. They saved me from an eternity as one of the undead! So we come round to celebrate. Sounds good to me! Ooh, lovely! I'll make us some nice scones! But where's Banjo? He's the real hero! Mistress escaped! So brave Baron Bird going after her. They'll join us later, but now let's party! <laughs> this must be the end now. We've had the credits and everyone's alright again. What about Grunty? Oh. I think we ought to just take a quick look at the, uh, you know, at the top of the tower. But there's no way up there. Nice try, Banjo. But I reckon that opening below the gun over there probably leads up. Oh, I was hoping you hadn't seen that. So that was cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> we brought everybody back to life that died, and now we're ready to finish the game. Yep, there's the life force machine. I love how the, the B.O.B. is basically just the Blastomatic from DK64. Hey, you! Well, hello there, Mr. Banjo! I'm Dean Pot. Remember me? No, not really. I helped you at the end of Banjo Kazooie! Oh, yeah! It's old Stink Pot! <laughs> You're so cruel, but hey, why not jump inside for a nice dingy bonus? Must we? I've only just got my feathers clean from last time. So if you jump in Dean Pot this time instead of launching this up. He refills all of our eggs and feathers. Thanks, Dean Pot. Aldrin Keep. So that's the exit to the gun chamber. And we can climb up a little bit further. And at the top here is the final warp pad. And another locked door. Youch! Yeah, if we want to reach the, fu the final boss, guess what, folks? We're ha we have one final Jiggy Wiggy challenge to complete. It is written that 70 Jiggies are required to open this door. You have enough Jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to walk to my sacred temple? Sure. And here we go. The final Jiggy Wiggy challenge. need 70 Jiggies, so you're allowed to miss 20 Jiggies in this game, as opposed to, like, the five from the first game. I'm kind of glad that you're able to skip a lot more content in this if necessary, because, A, banjo is a lot harder than Banjo-Kazooie is. Also, I thought that the requirement of basically needing every Jiggy in Banjo-Kazooie was a little strict. Not where I to put it. Banjo loves putting it in the wrong spot. Stop putting it in the wrong spot! Like, seriously, Banjo always defaults to putting it in the wrong spot. It's really annoying. One of the few things about this game I don't really like. This game is an absolute masterpiece, but that's one of the few things I do not like about it. Yeah, as you can see, we... <laughs> this picture is of the gun chamber that we were just in. There we go! You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 10, so now the Great One will show you the way. Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. It's time for the final laser beam. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy! Cauldron Keep. And the way to the final boss is open. Excellent, you have proved yourself most worthy by opening all the doors. A super special challenge now awaits. One that has no reward yet is the greatest test of all. Press B if you wish to try it. Might as well. This is the final Jiggy Wiggy challenge. And this is where it gets really tough. The super special challenge, because now they do actually rotate the pieces. 
behold the super special challenge. Now you will also need to rotate pieces by pressing left and right C. I await your fastest completion time. to press it like 80 times before it actually put it in. Oh wait, no, that's not the right way. And there we go. Jigtastic, I declare that 86 is the fastest time. You truly are the chosen one. So you literally just battle to see if you can beat your own high score, that's it. Nothing else. All right, later, Jiggy Wiggy. I do think Jiggy Wiggy's kind of a cool character, even if he doesn't say much. You must collect enough Jiggies to prove yourselves worthy to enter Jiggy Wiggy's temple. It seems you have collected enough jiggies to be allowed inside. Oh, this again? You're not gonna react any differently now that I have just dominated all Jiggy Wiggy's challenges. That's fine. I didn't want recognition anyways. One thing we can do though, before going back to the final world to fight Grunty. Well, for one, we can go into all the Jinjo houses and see them celebrating now. We can't interact with them at all, but it's still fun to do. But more importantly, we can go back to Genoine's throne room, and he's not going to be a zombie mumbling cryptic warnings about the bosses we fight in the game. Instead, it's back to its golden glory. But it looks like he's not at home. But at least we get to hear his awesome theme song again. So right now, Bottles is throwing a party, apparently. Let's go pay him a visit and just join in the festivities, shall we? <laughs> what is this party music? Also, why is his door closed? Sorry, guys, but you can't come to the party until the witch's history. Yes, Baron Bird must go back to castle and bash mistress. Hurry along, Banjo, dear. I'll save you one of my scones. <laughs> it's like a disco remix of that famous Italian song. You're not coming in. He's going to feed the witch in her castle. There's a good bear. Yes. Now pass Klungo another scone. <laughs> what a jerk. Bottles, we literally brought you back to life and this is how you repay us. You throw a party and don't invite us. You're not coming in. <laughs> Joke's on you, Bottles. I, I remember there's a back route into your house. We can cut in through the Wooded Hollow. At the beginning of the game, we cut through Bottle's house to get to the Wooded Hollow. Now we're gonna cut through the Wooded Hollow to get into Bottle's house! That party sounds so fun. We're going, we're going to join in. 
to Nerve of Bottles, not inviting the hero of the story, the guy who saved his life, to the party. What a scumbag. Uh-huh. Remember this little hole over here? We're going to Bottles' house. You're not coming in! But it sounds and looks so fun in here. They're, they've got flashing lights and there's a rave going on. Maybe we can do a clockwork shot. You're not coming in even with a clockwork egg! Dog on it. Janeline is apparently there too, and he, remember, he has the remote control that opens and closes the gate. He apparently closed the gate just to keep us out. Wow! Rude! Not letting us come to our own party. Alright, we'll just have to beat Grunty in record time. Yeah, man. They really made Grunty a lot nastier in this game. Like, <laughs> in the first game, she was already a nasty piece of work, but in this, like, her plan goes from, like, I want to steal Tootie's beauty to, like, I want to destroy all life on the island so I can come back to life and I can get revenge on everybody. And she literally just murdered her sisters in cold blood just because they lost to Banjo in a game. Like, <laughs> I'm surprised that her sisters agreed to that. To, like, be in the quiz game, knowing that it was life or death if they lost. But, like, maybe they, she didn't, they, maybe they didn't think Grunty would actually pull the trigger. But, I mean, Grunty had, like, literally no qualms about it. So, wow. Anyhow, Cauldron Keep, we can warp all the way to the top of the tower. And for those who are curious, Klungo is the icon for the bottom of the tower. Alright, time for the final boss. Oh, looks like there's no one here. We should go home now. Wow, it's one heck of a view from up here. Sure is, but doesn't it seem strange that Gruntilda isn't up here to meet us? Obviously chickened out. I've enjoyed our adventure, but let's get back to the card game. Looking the wrong way, Banjo. Hag 1, the monstrous mechanical mud buncher. Remember the tank from the beginning of the game? Err, uh, Banjo? Look, look at the size of that! I'm sure it wasn't that big before. How could we have missed it? Hi, Grunty. Finally! After two years! Revenge time! Don't bet on it, Bone Brain. We'll see, little bird. We'll see. Where's the laser button? Darn it! Someone passed the manual for this thing? Ah, yes! Here we go! Welcome to the final boss of Banjo-Tooie, the Hag-1, and this is one of the toughest final bosses I've ever faced. This is gonna pull out all the punches, so for the first phase, just to jump over the lasers. Thought the quiz was over, did you? Think again! I've still got quite a few question cards up my sleeve. Answer correctly, and maybe I'll go a little easier on you. Which Jinjo family only had one member? That was the White family. Ironically, it was White Jinjo who had the answer. Drat! That's correct! I'll only use my slower attack now. Well, that's sporting of you. Prepare yourself for an unhealthy dose of spells. Let's fight! And now, we go first person. And let me tell you what, if you don't know you can strafe, boy howdy is this gonna be hard. Cause you gotta strafe around her attacks while pelting her with eggs. And she has 100 HP. Yeah, and it, so if, if you get the question, uh, if you get the question right, her spells will be green and fairly slow. If you get the question wrong, then her spells will be red and a lot faster. Yeah, she has 100 HP, 10 forms. This is the first form, so it's pretty easy, but yeah, this is a marathon boss, and 
she hits pretty hard. How did the missing dinosaur get home? By train. Also epic music, of course. Let's switch over to Fire Eggs. Oomph! One nil to the pesky bear! More lasers are required! How do I switch them all on? This one? Lovely! Here we go again! It's so now second phase, she has all four lasers going on. She's faster, and is now going in the opposite direction. What was the name of the first game I starred in? That was Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> Perfect grunty. <laughs> Oh, I suppose I could have used Dragon Kazooie for this fight to give myself unlimited fire eggs. Oomph! Not again! Time for something new, methinks. Plenty more tricks left in this beauty. Activate the Mortar Cannon! Bombs away! Now she's gonna shoot us with a Mordor Cannon. Oh wait, if we jump, it's not too bad to, dip, to avoid all the shells. Yeah, when we're in first person mode, regular eggs only deal one damage, fire eggs deal two. How many battery operated doors were there in my factory? Uh, there was four or five. Four? Yeah. Four. Yeah, the fire eggs can't be fired as rapidly as the regular eggs, so you do need slightly better aim, but they do deal more damage. Yeah, uh, imagine trying to beat this fight without knowing you can strafe. It's almost impossible. I need more firepower! Bring out the other Mortar Cannon! Double bombs away! Pretty much the same deal here, just jump over the shells. You can also use Wonder Wing and Vulnerability. What was blocking up the vents in the factory sewers? Clinkers. That was an annoying jiggy. You can only hit her 10 points of damage at a time. You can't hurt her, at, hurt her after that. Fetch the cannons back in! Open the exhaust port! Oh yes, feel the power of that V-10 beast! Crank the drill up! Let's get him! This is where the fight starts getting very tough. So now she has her front lasers activated and will actually start chasing us. Thankfully, the honeycombs that she drops stay around for a while. Let's just run away from her lasers and try to stay behind her at all times. What color was Mumbo's pad in Jolly Roger's Lagoon? Oh, uh, it was yellow. Yellow for the sunlight. really good in this fight. What's wrong with this machine? It's going straight back to the garage to the garage after this. So now the engine is stalling. It's not my fault! The gearbox must be faulty! When that happens, we're gonna need to break into the Hag 1 using the uh, clock eggs now that the exhaust port is open. In the meantime though, we gotta talent trot away. I love this fight, though. This is exactly what a final boss fight should be. It's challenging, but not unfair. It's long, it's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve, 
a lot of different variety, but it's still very fair. Yeah, so it's stalling now, so we're gonna pull out the clockwork eggs. And because the exhaust port is open, we can jump on in. Inside the digger. We can jump over this and then pull up the Baza battery. Eh? I heard an explosion! What's that burning smell? It's probably nothing, Grunty. No need to worry about it. Oh, she's got all four lasers equipped now. Yeah, fire eggs are honestly, like, the ideal egg for this fight. Grenade eggs do, I think, deal free damage, but grenade eggs also are not rapid fire at all. You can only shoot one every three seconds or so, whereas fire eggs, you can shoot, like, one every second. So I actually think that fire eggs are better for the fight, just because the DPS is overall higher. Like, if you can hit her dead on with the grenade eggs every single time, then sure, use them. How many characters live in buildings within Jinjo Um, um, 49? Wrong answer! You'll be facing my faster attack now! Oh no. Were we counting Jingling as one of them? Okay. Oh no, and her lasers are still active. Yeah, if you're if you're really good aim with the grenade eggs, then by all means feel free to use them because you can rack up a little more damage that way. But with fire eggs, if you miss, it's not as big of a deal as if you miss with grenade eggs. Oh, come off it! Yeah, um, uh, the first time I did, the first time I played against the Hag One, I was not able to beat it without using the Honey Back Cheat. As you can see, it's very fast now, and really difficult to avoid its attacks. Like Grunty means business. What was the first word I said when you got up here? Finally. How ice eggs deal. Oh, just as well as fire eggs, if not better. Ow, what the heck? Your laser is deactivated, though. Oh, come on! You can't turn on the gas just as I... Oh, I'm about to die. This is not good. No! You were not supposed to hover there. The game lagged. The game lagged, so instead of jumping, I didn't. Hit, I hadn't hit the ground at, at that point, so instead it made it me hover into the laser. Doggone it. Yeah, that's a tough fight. But that is annoying. Literally, the game lag screwed me over over there. I probably wouldn't have won anyways, but still, that's really frustrating. Back again, losers! Just shut that hatch and let's get on with it. Fair enough. <laughs> I forgot, if you lose to the bosses and then come back, they actually have different points, which is funny. We heard that with Lord Wu back back. I need to remember to use Wonder Wing and Vulnerability. Like, I have 20 gold feathers. And I always forget about it, but it's really, really helpful in this fight. What was the name of my excellent and entertaining quiz? That was the Tower of Tragedy. Not as cool as your fiery furnace, but... It's still amusing. Okay, good. We got in the second time. Alright. Avoid the booger bean. And then, boom! Blew up the other battery. Yes! If memory serves, that was the toughest part of the fight. Oh no! We're losing power! No! Don't stop, Mr. Drill! My lovely lasers! Can uh, someone phone for a tow truck? Right, that's it! I've had enough! We fight to the death! Have we 
we got any more tricks left? Ah, yes, the minions. There he goes. Go get them, doofus. Oh no, not a booger bean. Oh, well, he made a good distraction. Yes. Oh hey, we can actually deal more than t uh, 10 damage at a time. Here. That was 15. Aha! Of course! Why didn't I think of this earlier? Release the toxic gas! Hmm, cyanide and mustard gas flavor. My favorite. <laughs> what kind of a monster likes mustard gas? It doesn't actually taste like mustard, but... So now it basically becomes a time fight. You gotta get rid of Grunty within the time limit. There we go. Okay, numbskulls, time for the biggest, baddest spell I can muster. Prepare to join your buddy Bottles. You'll wish you'd never take it on the mighty Gruntilda Winky Bunyan. Winky Bunyan? Is that your last name, then? Uh, um, no. Of course not. But don't you go telling anyone, or I'll sue you. Whatever you say, Winky. Now die! Now I think we have to shoot her while she's carrying the spell. There- Nah! Oh no! The spell! I've dropped it! Quick! Uh, somebody get rid of it before it- Well, we sure showed old Winky Bunyan again, eh, Banjo? Yup, we certainly did. Come on, let's get down to bottles for that party. Good idea. <laughs> well done, Banjo and Kazooie. There better be pizza left. Seems a bit quiet for a party. Hey, Bottle Boy! Where's this party? Well, uh, it's finished, I'm afraid. That Klungo sure was hungry. He's eaten everything in the house. <laughs> Mumbo wanted to boogie. Big heat bummer. It's all your fault, bird brain! You should have dealt with the bony crony quicker! Well, at least I wasn't hiding in my silos like a coward. Why, you feathered! Ho ho ho! Useless Wumba hidden wigwam too! Shut up, or Wumba turns stupid shaman into a frog! Me summon gold statue to kick ugly Wumba's butt. Stop it, all of you! You can go outside if you want to argue. Kazooie's got a better idea. Yeah, does anyone fancy a kick around? Kick around? What's that, punk? Follow us and find out. Go, uh huh? I love how Kongo keeps bawling the noisemaker in his sleep. <laughs> I 
We're playing kickball with Grunty's head as the ball. Take that, witch! This much fun! Mumbo right! Big heap fun! Pass her to me! Ooh, I think her eye just fell out! You'll be sorry, all of you! Just you wait until Banjo 3! We're still waiting for it. <laughs> hey! Looks like Captain Bulber got his new flying machine from the bingo at, uh, Jolly's. The end. I'm still waiting for Banjo 3 -E to this day. We got Grunty's Revenge and Nuts and Bolts, but those aren't the same. And yeah, that's Banjo Tooie, my all time favorite 3D platformer. Wow, that game is amazing. Like, holy crow. I cannot emphasize just how much fun that game is. It also got re released for Xbox 360, I believe, as part of Rare Replay. So, if you don't have a native N64 console to play this on, which chances are you don't, you can play it that way as well, which is awesome. And yeah, that is officially 100%. Everything in this game, 90 jiggies, all the notes, everything. Never done that before, but 100%ing that feels very nice. So, that's, I think, pretty much it for this Let's Play. There are only, uh, there's not a whole lot else that I could show off. There is actually multiplayer in the game, but I highly doubt I'll be able to do an episode of that because, um, for a variety of reasons. One, the multiplayer is just not that good, and B, I don't think I could find anybody to play the multiplayer with. Like, <laughs> maybe I could convince Marty and maybe Link to play it with me, but, like, it wouldn't be that entertaining, honestly, because Marty's never played this game, and, again, the multiplayer is just not that good, and also I feel like I would just dominate completely, and it just wouldn't be all that good. You can edit your setting. Wait, what, are, what even is in the settings menu? Is it literally just... Oh, screen alignment. Oh, it's boring stuff. It's not like control schemes or anything. We The one thing we can do is replay. So you can replay various features. So you can replay minigames, bosses, or cutscenes. So the cutscenes, we got the opening story. King Genuine gets zapped. Bottles and Genuine get restored. Grunty gets defeated. Credits, and then the character parade. What is the character parade again? Is this just showing off all of the different characters from the game? Oh, you have been watching The Golden Goliath. Oh, this just goes for all the different characters. Bovina, yeah, I don't really care about watching all of that, to be perfectly honest. So, replaying the minigames, yeah, okay, we got Mayan Kickball, Quarterfinal, Semifinal, and Final, the Ordnance Storage, the Dodge and Dome 101, one, 2 on 1, and 3 on 1 challenges. The Hoop Hurry game, the Balloon Burst game, the Saucer Apparel game, the Submarine minigame, Chompa's Belly, the Clinker's Cavern minigame, the Twinkly Packing game, Coliseum quarterfinal, semifinal, and final kickball tournaments, the Pot of Gold game, the Trash Can Dreams game, the Zubba's Hive game, and then Tower of Tragedy rounds 1, 2, and 3. Those would be exactly the same if we played them again, so that wouldn't be all that interesting. One thing I might do is I might play all, I might do a bonus episode where I try to boss rush all the bosses. So we've got the free versions of Klungo, Target Zan, Old King Cole, Mr. Patch, Lord Wu, Fact Fact, Terry, Weldar, Chili Willy, Chili Billy, Minji Jonjo, and the Hag One. I think I might do a bonus episode where I do a boss rush of all the replay bosses, because that actually would be different in a variety of ways. The two ways it would be different, well, number one, you have to fight them without any upgrades, which means no health extensions, no, no, no cheat codes, so no feather doubling, no egg doubling. No, Super Banjo, none of that. So it would basically be bare bones. You have exactly what you need to beat them. So that actually would be interesting. It would make some of the bosses pretty darn tough. So I think I actually might do that in a bonus video. But apart from that, I don't think there are really any other bonus videos I could do. I've shown off pretty much everything else in the game. And if I can do a multiplayer game, then maybe I will. But don't count on it. <laughs> much like Woody using the Magic 8 Ball. Don't count on it! Aww. Anyhow, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This has been an awesome Let's Play. One of my favorites. This game is absolutely amazing, and I highly, highly recommend it. So, look forward to the bonus episode, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and may God bless you wherever you are.